Hello and welcome to a brief tour of the AG1000G web application, which provides access to data on genetic variation between mosquitoes from across sub-Saharan Africa. This is the start page, which provides some information about the current data release and various options to begin exploring the data. The application is organised into several interconnected views that allow users to explore different aspects of the data. These include the genome browser, the variance table, the samples table, and a list of populations. You can use the tabs across the page to move between different views, or these buttons on the right of the start page. Below the introductory text, there are also shortcuts, which enable you to jump directly into some predefined plots and views of the data. Firstly, we'll take a look at the samples table. There are some common features to each view, which it is useful to point out now. If you ever get lost, you can click on the Start Page button here at the top right of the page, which will take you back to the page where we began. There's also a Find button, which allows you to search for genes, variants, and samples. In the Samples table, each row contains data on a single mosquito. There are 765 samples in the current data release. The buttons at the top of the table here allow you to move to the next or previous rows and to the end or beginning of the table. You can click on a sample ID to pull up details on that particular sample. You can also sort the samples by any of the columns in the table. On the left of the screen, you will see tools that allow you to query the data and make interactive plots. For example, here is a histogram of mean coverage. Next, we'll move on to the variance table. In the variance table, each row contains data on a single SNP. There are over 95 million SNPs in the current data release, of which over 44 million have passed all quality filters. Here, you can see data on the chromosome, position, reference allele, and alternative alleles. The table also contains data on quality filters, mutation effects, and allele frequencies in different populations. This is a good place to demonstrate using the query tool. Generally, you'll want to work with variants that have passed all quality filters. To do this, first click on the Define Query button. Then select the plus symbol here to add a query. In this case, you'll want to select Filter Pass as the field that you're querying and equals Yes as the result that you are filtering by. You'll now see that the list of variants displayed has changed to show only those that passed all of the quality filters. Finally, we'll look at the Genome Browser. Let's look at genetic variation at the knockdown resistance locus, which is associated with insecticide resistance. To do this, we'll use the Find button. Now that we've selected the gene that we want to view, click on Display in Genome Browser. The Genome Browser offers a view of data within a particular chromosome region. There are tools at the top of the page to orientate you on the chromosome and navigate to different genome regions. Here is the voltage-gated sodium channel gene, which contains the KDR mutations. We can zoom in to see the variants discovered within the gene and genotypes for individual samples. Here, we've zoomed in on the two KDR mutations. You can see that the genotypes are color-coded with homozygous reference calls in blue, homozygous alternate calls in red, and heterozygotes in green. As you can see, many of the samples shown here have one of the KDR mutations. That was an overview of some of the features available in the AG1000G web application. To find out more about the AG1000G project, visit www.malariagen.net forward slash AG1000G. This web application was built using the Panoptes software framework. To find out more about Panoptes, visit github.com forward slash CGGH. Thank you for watching.